Hi, in this video we will talk about how to calculate the weighted mean and we would be covering these three topics. We will see how to calculate it in a real life scenario and then at the end we'll say how to plot it as well. So what is weighted mean? Before we do that let's talk about the mean. We have a vector called x and we can take the mean of that by using the mean command and that gives us the mean. And when we talk about weighted mean, we give a different weight to each of those observations. For example, if I create another vector called y, and I can use the command weighted mean. So x is the vector which has the actual observations, and w or, or y is the vector which contains the weight for, for those and that gives us the weighted means. Now in, in reality in the mean command or in the mean we have equal weightage to e each and every observation. For example if I put the same amount of weight for all three observations like 0.33 or 33.3 percent um, I would get the same value as the mean. So you can see that the mean gave us 20 and the weighted means also gave us 20 when we have equal weight to each value or each observation. So the concept of uh, weighted mean is a bit clearer now. Let's do a practical example and I would be using the dplyr package and I'll create a data set or data frame which contains some scores for three students for their general ability marks, GA, maths, and science marks. So there are three students and everybody has uh, got a different mark. And to create a long or a tall data set out of that, I'll use the package called reshape two, and then I'll melt the data. So if I look at my melted data, we can see that we have three, vari uh, three columns, student, variable, and the values. So for example, for student A, we have the GA score for, for the same student, and then we have the math score for the same student, and then we have the science. So instead of one row for each student, we have now three rows because we have three subjects. So using that would be useful when we calculate our weighted mean. So let's say the school decides that to assign more stress or more importance to the general ability marks or GA marks, and then so 40% mark weight is given to the GA marks and 30% weight is given to the maths mark and then 30% weight is given to the science mark. So let's say the school sticks to this formula and um, they will apply this to calculate the final score or the means, the weighted mean score for each student. So this is another table which we got. So we got our data, the student marks, and then we have the weight table which assigns different weights to and each year the, the, the school can change this um, weightage if, if they want to. So now I'll merge my scores data with the weight. So we'll come up with a new data frame. So if I look at that, we have the weight for each subject. For example, the GA has been given 0.4 or 40% and the maths has been given 30%. So ideally it should sum up to 100 or one, but if you don't do that, then it'll scale it down to make it um, out of 100. So now we would use dplyr to do the, the actual calculation. So we'll group the data by student because we want to calculate the mark for each student or the means for each student. And then we want to summarize. So the mean would be the mean of the value, the value being the this column where we have the scores for each subject. And then we want to calculate the weighted mean. For weighted mean, we use the command weighted.mean. Then again, we want to calculate the mean on the actual value or the scores, but we also want to make sure that we provide the weight. So the weight being this column where we have the actual weight allocated to each subject. So if I run this, and if I look at DM, I have the mean 
and then I also have the weighted mean. You would notice that the student C had 86.7 as the mean score or the mean marks, but his weighted mean is higher. And the reason being that he would have got a higher mark in the GA. So because he got 94 marks in, in the GA and GA has a higher weight, so his, his um, overall weighted means uh, has um, increased compared to his uh, original mean. And now let's talk about how do we plot it. So for plotting, I would be using the ggplot. So first of all, we'll create a, a bar chart. So I want to create a bar chart. And then I also want to show the, the weighted mean as, as these red dots there. So you can see that uh, the score for the mean score for each student has been plotted with the dot indicating the, the weighted mean. In some cases, it has pulled the weight down because they might have scored lower marks in, in the GA, which had the higher weight. In some cases, it has gone up. So let's create another plot now. And I'll be using the melt command again. I want to melt the data again, the, the data which we used for a previous chart, which was DM. I want to make it uh, like a tall, tall table, so or a, a data which will be something like this, where we have the student name in the first column and then the variable is the mean or the weighted mean and then we have the value for, for, for let's say for example for student a we have the mean and then we have the weighted mean so using that table i can create a plot which will be something like this so you can see that we have the mean for each student and then also we have the weighted mean for each student in, in a in a side-by-side -side bar chart. I hope you found this information useful. Thank you very much for watching it and I'll see you in the next one.